Q may not only be a military psyop, but perhaps a declaration that CERN was successful in transmitting into the quantum world and back. The letter Q is everywhere. Just look around. Movies, programming, our military, games, social media, and even in newspapers. It's even on the fountain at the White House lawn. We now have a quantum reach into the pit of hell. A direct Wi-Fi link without having to conjure spells and sacrifices to send and receive messages to the spirit realm. It's the new Tower of Babel. CERN invented the internet, by the way, not Al Gore. They created a token of linked computers that could share information faster. Even the email address was also created there back in the 70s to send messages with attachments back and forth. CERN was created in 1954, which creates transdimensional messages to and from the pit, directly underneath the throne of Satan. And where is that? Check this out. In Revelation 2.13, we read, I know where thou dwellest, where the seat of Satan is, and thou holdest fast my name, and hast not denied my faith, even in those days when Antipas was my faithful witness, who was slain among you, where Satan dwelleth. So, who was Antipas, and where was he slain? During the reign of the Roman Emperor Nero, also known as Gilgamesh, John the Apostle ordained Atipus as Bishop of Pergamon. According to Eastern Orthodox beliefs and according to the commentary on the Apocalypse of Andreas of Caesarea, it is supposed that St. Atipus, Antipas was the Antipas referred to in Revelation. The traditional narrative continues by stating Antipas was put to death during the reign of Nero, burned in a brazen bull-shaped altar at the Apollyon Temple in Lyon, Geneva, Switzerland, and buried in a nearby cemetery. So Antipas was slain in what is now modern-day Geneva, Switzerland, by being put in a bull-shaped cauldron. You know, the same one you see on Wall Street. So by this, we learn that this is where Satan actually dwells. Now let's think about some some of the things that are headquartered there. Oh, Nelly. CERN, the Economic Forum, Economic World Forum headquarters is there. The World Trade Organization, World Council of Churches, the World Federation of United Nations, again, all their headquarters, World Health Organization, World Meteorolo Meteorological Organization, the International Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, Trans, and Intersex Association, which Gavi, and uh, Gavi the, Va the Vaccine Alliance, I never even heard of them, Lutheran World Federation, and the Internet Governance Forum. And lastly, the UN Watch. All the headquarters are located right there. I think that is evidence enough of what is really going on. Don't you see it now? Has Trump or Q taken down any of these organizations? Has WikiLeaks or Julian Assange said anything about Satan's throne and his plans that he is the real enemy and not China? No. Q was made to take down the lower ranks like the Clintons and usher in a false sense of peace, when in reality the devil has made progress on communications between his war room and the elite on earth. You see, spirits can't manifest to hold a sword in our world to fight its enemies in the flesh. If this were true, we would hear ghost stories of spirits picking up a shotgun and wreaking havoc. Since Jesus has the keys to death and hell, it means Satan can't use his army to kill man. He has relied on man for 2,000 years to do his bidding. And now, with the high power of internet speed, internet via satellites, cameras, cell phones, and laptops, he can access earth just like the Most High. The Father and Satan can now view everyone in real time. 
right inside the pit and up in heaven. It's also fitting to say that Switzerland holds all of the world's wealth in their vaults. Now that Satan has his communications ready, all he needs now is his last deception trick. The ultimate lie that man was created by other worldly beings from outer space. The great lie that will make men's heart fail them in fear. A wondrous light show of holograms and real anti-gravity machines that we made will be put on a performance like nothing we have ever, ever seen. The evidence we are hearing about now with New Agers who say the Intergalactic Space Federation is working with ETs to rid the Earth of reptilians. And Trump's Space Force might play a huge role in the magic show when they introduce a real UFO fleet that we've had all along, thanks to German scientists and the discovery of the Nazi bell. The New Agers who held on to Q and the ET transmissions they've been receiving will make the very elect believe it was all true. With the help of our ET friends, we brought back peace and ended human trafficking. Nisera and Jacera could be a payoff to accept the mark of the beast. <laughs> and boy, would that be tempting. 30 silver coins for a soul. It will all be crypto anyways, which is just ones and zeros controlled by the United Nations anyways, via XRP and Ripple's centralized and controlled system. This is why the Bible says narrow is the gate to salvation and wide is the gate to destruction. I have to say, bravo to the devil and his deception as, as even I fell for the Trump savior plan. All we got was a payoff for our freedom of a few dollars off gas. The Green New Deal that King George pushed down, pushed the countdown button on could be the clock to the tribulation, 2030. Now you know why CERN over the decades kept breaking down. That was an act of God. The Father wasn't ready. Hope this helps.